Welcome, role players. My name is Mario, and let's learn about managing your open legend campaign with Hero Musters tools. The first step for you and your players is making a Hero Muster account. Add your email address, verify the account, and select the RPG tools for Open Legend. For your players, the required tool is the Character Builder. Your players should be logged into Hero Muster when they create their characters. To confirm you are logged in, you will see a logout link in the top right, rather than a login link. If you don't clear your cookies and use the same device, Hero Muster will automatically log you in for the next 90 days. Using a new device or browser will require you to log in again to verify that device. Back to your players. When they build their character and save it, two important things will happen. One, the character becomes saved to their creations page. Two, once the character is saved, they can reload the page to view a new icon. Similarly, if they later revisit the character, a new icon will be visible. This orange overwrite icon allows the player who created that save to update the character without changing the link. This detail is important because if they were not logged in, only the save button is available. When using just the save button, a new character is saved to the system and, more importantly, a new link is generated. This makes keeping track of their characters much harder, so it's important to encourage your players to use the Overwrite button to update their characters. Once they have created their characters, your players should either send you a message through Hero Muster or via email with a link to their character. Click that link to view their character, making sure you are logged in, and look for a different icon, the blue bookmark icon. Clicking this blue icon adds it to your creations page without creating a new save or altering the character in any way. More importantly, because you are bookmarking your player's character, which they will be overriding as the campaign moves along, the bookmark will always be up to date. This same ability to save and bookmark can be used in reverse for items you create with the item builder. You can save an item that you intend to give to your players, then when they receive it in-game, you can send them the link out of game for them to bookmark. This is helpful if you create an item that changes or evolves over time. That covers the interaction between the players and yourself outside of the game. So now let's take a look at a few more tools in your GM arsenal. The NPC generator can serve as an end-all be-all or it can be a source of inspiration. It's always easier to change 20% of an NPC to fit a situation or story than it is to create it 100% from scratch. Once you find an NPC you want to use, you can click and change a few of the key fields, name, description, initiative, speed, and defense scores. You can then click the save icon, visible when logged in, to save this NPC to your creations page. Be advised that while the required elements of the NPC are saved, the extra Banes and Boons list will not be saved, nor will the weapon suggestions. If you prefer, print the NPC to take advantage of the additional helpers. Let's look at where all these saves and bookmarks end up, your creations page. Not only do you now have all of your players' characters listed here, but items and NPCs are available with just a click. Characters and items link to their builder pages, while the NPC link will display the NPC stat block on the creations page. There is one more organizational benefit on this page, tagging. At the top of the page, you can create new tags. When running multiple campaigns, adding a short nickname for each campaign helps keep things organized. Other tags could identify a location in your world or a particular NPC, both ways to keep items organized. The tags could also be generic, such as a found tag, to keep track of which items and NPCs your party has already discovered. All tags can be applied across any character, item, or NPC. Furthermore, once you have tagged to your heart's content, clicking on the tags at the top of the page will work as a filter. If a tag is selected at the top, only creations with that tag will be visible. 
Selecting two tags will show creations that have either tag. Finally, don't forget to give your players feedback through Hero Muster and request their feedback as well. Honest feedback will only make everyone a better member of the party, GM, or player. Congratulations! You are now ready to run a successful Open Legend campaign using Hero Muster's tools.